Music here. Welcome back to another episode of Blind Bag Marathon. Actually, this one is Blind Bag Marathon Mini. Now, what's the difference between Blind Bag Marathon and Blind Bag Marathon Mini? Well, for the regular ones, I usually have 27 blind bags, which I divide into three different parts and open nine blind bags or blind boxes in each video. However, during the time when I could not find as many different types of blind bags or blind boxes, I will be putting out Blind Bag Marathon Mini, which is just one episode. So I will be opening nine blind boxes or blind bags that are all different. As you can see, I have nine all different kinds of blind bags and blind boxes to open here. So I'm super duper excited. So without further ado, let's get started. We're gonna get started in no particular order and I guess I'm just gonna grab from the right side because I'm actually standing on the right side of my camera. This one is Littlest Pet Shop Lucky Pets. It is one of the newest blind bags that I was able to find. I got it from Target. Honestly, I do not know what to expect from this blind bag so let's open it up. There is a little tiny slit in this corner so we're going to tear this bag open. Oh, it's in another plastic bag again. Maybe for this, I should probably grab my scissors. So I'll be right back. This fortune cookie shaped thing feels like it's made out of cardboard, which is actually pretty nice so that you could actually recycle them. Oh, what actually, when you actually open it, it actually feels like very similar to fortune cookie as you're opening it <laughs> come on all right so we have a checklist and two bags mm. so i got this one that says cat six calendar i i have no idea what it's supposed to be but is it supposed to be a clue for my fortune here is the checklist apparently there are 150 plus to collect all of these look so cute. I don't know which one I want the most. Uh, maybe a fox right here. Lady Luck would be nice. Um, a Wangle would be nice. Bixby would be nice. Like, I like most of the cats and dogs and also like bear or hamster looking ones. On the back of the checklist, there is let your pet reveal your fortune. So you have to see your charm icon color, which I do not know yet. The number was six. So for me, it's magic day of the week. Um, today is Tuesday. So tomorrow, magic tomorrow, something magic tomorrow. We will see. Let's open our baggie. And the one I got is, ooh, it looks like a chihuahua puppy. Let's see. This one is, oh, I got Wingo. Cool. Here is a small bag. And I got this blue bone charm. So let's look back to our checklist. It says, um, blue is you will enjoy. So you will enjoy magic tomorrow. You know what? That is actually really true because... Even though this video will be posted in the weekend, I am actually posting this the day before leaving for D23, which will be magical. So I will be experiencing some magic tomorrow. Moving on to our next one, we are going to open this Disney Simpson Mystery Pack Series 11 by Jax Pacific. This one doesn't have a little slit to make the tearing easier. So we're going to use... Oh, maybe I should have shown you the checklist first. Here are the characters and the accessories you could get. I would really love Mulan. Buzz Lightyear, Mr. Incredible will be would be really nice. Um, Yizma, actually. Yeah, okay, you know why I can't choose? Because I would want every single one of them. Because Tiana looks awesome. Flower looks awesome too. That Russell looks really cool. Scar, you guys know Scar is one of my favorite Disney villains. So, yeah. Honestly, I'll be happy with whichever one I get. So, let's open it up. Here's a checklist. But we already saw it on the back of the bag. Oh, we got Todd! Oh my goodness, this is so cool! We got Todd from the Fox and the Hound. Or is it Hound and the Fox? 
one or the other. <laughs> oh my goodness, the detail on this accessory is so amazing. I really, really, really like this one. This is so cool. And here is Todd, which actually the paint job on this one looks pretty good, so I totally lucked out. Moving on to the next one, this one is Fingerlings Mini Splime Bag. I actually purchased this when it was really, really popular, but I never got around to opening it because I think I was in the, in the middle of the move. This one is Series 2. We have a checklist and our Fingerlings Minis. We got a little monkey. Okay, let's look at the checklist first. Here is the checklist and there are 48 different ones for you to collect. These are the popular ones, which I think is another word for um, common. And I will compare my fingerling minis in a bit, but these are the common ones. Here are the rare ones and then the legendary ones. Oh my gosh, the pandas and the dragons look so cool. Here is the Fingerlings Minis I got, and I got it with this uh, mint, pastel mint colored loop. I think it's supposed to be a charm bracelet. And then this pink ribbon um, bow charm. I have found mine. This one is Kara, which is a popular slash common. She is so cute. The paint job on this one looks pretty good. They're made to kind of hug your um, pencil. So it's kind of like a cute pencil topper. So if you really like fingerlings and you are going to school and you like using pencils, then these would be perfect accessory for you. Here we have Japanese gacha. This one was actually from Pokemon Store Japan. And even though to you guys it's kind of like a blind, I can actually see the one I, can, um, I got inside. So let's open it up and show you guys the one I got. Ta-da! Here's the one I got. I got um, Pikachu as Team Skull. And for those of you who were curious, here is the checklist. There were seven different designs for you to collect and this is the one I got. Here's a closer look at the Pikachu. He is so cute. Oh my goodness. His little facial expression is like everything. Goodness, he's a torb. Moving on, we are going to open our pop. Pop Hair Surprise. This one is Series 1 and honestly, I have no idea what to expect. All I saw was this adorable figurine looking thing that was also a surprise. And I was like, you know what? I'm totally in. Even if I do not like what's inside, at least I like the figure that I have chosen out. They actually had like four different design of figures that you could get. On the back side, looks like a comb. Actually, a brush. Comb is not like this, right? So, okay, how do I open this? See, oh, there's a tear tab. I did not see that. Okay, let's remove the plastic. Goodness, okay, so this is quite a lot. Um, this is the checklist. On the front of the checklist, it kind of explains how to pop. So I'm supposed to open and remove pop pod from pop brush. Okay, I need to do that in a bit. And then twist and pull to remove spray bottle. Then spray top of pop pod um, and wait for a pop. Oh goodness. And then reveal pop roller and twist to remove bow clip. Unwrap hair from pop roller. Open pop roller to reveal the pop hair pet. Oh my goodness, this is a lot. Okay, and then it teaches you how to braid, wear and share it. Um, so you can get different hair types, different hair colors, or you can even get ombre. And I believe these are the ones you could collect. So like I said, there were four different designs of figures you could get. The one I got is this one right here. I wonder why they have in different colors. Is it just different variations you can find? And here are some pop hair pets you can get. If you can see right here, there is a plastic tab. So I need to remove this. Um, I might need to cut it with scissors. There we go. I need to listen to directions. They told me to open this part and take out the pop pod. So let's see if I can follow direction. Alright, so here is the pop pod. Ooh! It's quite heavy. And here is a little baggie. I don't know what that is for. Look, you can see inside its head. This is how the eyes look. You can maybe remove the eye discs too if you want to change out the eyes. Let's close that. And you're supposed to 
twist. Oh, okay. And this exposes the spray bottle. Does it have liquid inside? No. Okay, I'll be right back. I need to go put some water in this. All right, I got some water. Hopefully, this is not as messy as I think it's going to be. We're going to focus on the top part of the pop pod and soak it. Right? This I said spray the top of the pop pod. Yeah, I'm following direction. I'm a good girl. I know how to follow directions. I don't know how long it's going to take to pop open. So we might have to set this aside and move on to a different blind bag. Oh! Okay! Oh my gosh! <laughs> that surprised me! Oh, and here is our... What is this called? Um, pop roller. Here is our pop roller. Alright, let's unravel our pop roller. <laughs> and we're supposed to open this to find our pop hair pet. Which one did we get? Oh, we got two! <gasps> oh my gosh, the expression on this is so cute! Oh my goodness. It's supposed to be a hair tie, but I would probably not use it as a hair tie. But still, as a figure by itself, they're so cute. I wasn't too sure if I was going to like this whole hair thing, but it kind of looks like a little troll creature that has a super long hair. I actually do like them. People might not like them. Um, I can totally see this being something that, you know, either you like or not. But I actually do like these figures. Goodness. What about this small bag? What's in here? Oh, okay. This one comes with little um, hair clips and some hair ties. So the pop roller I got is Wavy Wanda. And the pet I got are um, Harry, Kate right here, and Brushley, which they are twins. I'm actually really glad how well that worked out. And my desk is not actually wet. I was afraid that I was going to get water all over the places, but my desk is safe. Moving on, let's move on to opening Squeezimals blind box. Which one did we get? Oh, we got... This one looks like a ladybug. Unfortunately, there's no checklist. I guess the box is supposed to serve as a checklist, maybe? But I got this one that looks like a purple ladybug. It's super cute. I love the little hearts. Now, this one is um, kind of in between size of the regular Squeezable and the micro size. So this is like a nice... Um, maybe a cushion size for American Girl dolls. And in case any of you guys were wondering the size difference, here's the regular Squeezable. This is the one I just got. And here is the Micro. I honestly thought that I would get Micro size, but yeah, it's like nice in between size. Now moving on to LOL Surprise. This one is LOL Surprise Boys Series 1. I really love LOL Surprise and I kind of do have a hunch that I would love this too. But I wanted to, before purchasing more, I just wanted to purchase one. Open it up and see if I like it enough to buy more. So here we go. Let's open it up. Here's the one I got. I think this one has fever dance. Fever dance? Dance fever? I don't know. Sick moves. <laughs> okay, sick moves. When opening these LOL surprises, you have to be really careful not to cut your finger because I've done that many a times. You get a little sticker sheet, which I barely use. Ooh! I see a peep of gold ball. And here's our first surprise. Here's our second surprise. Alright, so here's our doll. The checklist, accessories, and accessory for the ball case. Here's the front of the checklist. On the back, you can see all of the available boys that you can get. There are eight different ones for you to collect currently. And they actually look pretty good. I really like this design. That one looks pretty cool. That one looks really cool. This one looks really cool too. I mean, you know what? I do like most of them. I like this one as well. Yeah, so let's see which one we got. The rare one, I think it's the glitter one. We got the gold ball, so maybe we got the rare one. Who knows? Maybe not. Ooh! 
Here's the one I got. Let's open up all of the accessories. Here is his bottle, which is totally giving me the 90s vibe. And his shoes. And these are his outfit. Super cute. Here's the last bag and we got glasses. So I'm going to put him together and I'll be right back. So here's the LOL Surprise Boy I got, and I got New Kids Club. He is actually ultra rare. I was not expecting to get an ultra rare, so that's pretty cool. I love how matching he is with his bottle and everything. Goodness, I love his colors. Moving on to our second to the last one, I have Pusheen's Surprise Plushie Blind Box. Here are the ones you can collect. Is it the same on the other side? Yep, so there are one, two, three, four, seven. Plus one mystery that you could get. Let's open it up. That lion pusheen looks so cute. Oh my gosh, that narwhal, that fox, that panda. They all look so cute. We can open it this way. And we got, oh my gosh, I got the, I got the fox one. <gasps> so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love, 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 love this. Oh, it's so cute. Last but not least, we have this Pokemon blind box. It's actually from 2008. And here are the ones you could get. I think these are like finger puppets maybe. I'm not 100% sure. But there are 12 different ones you could get. They're all starter Pokemon. So let's see which one we have. We got... A candy, which I'm not going to eat because it's from 2008. Come on! Oh, we got Chikorita! In the box, it also came with a sticker sheet. This one has been waiting for such a long time to come out since 2008. Boy, Chikorita, you have some patience. So, here is Chikorita out of bag. It's so cute. And, yep, it is like a finger puppet, so... As you can see, it's hollow, so you can put your finger in and play with it like a finger puppet. So cute! If you guys are wondering how I, where I got this, I actually got it from a secondhand seller who was kind of clearing out her collection. Here are all of the items I was able to get from my blind bags and blind boxes. I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised with the Pop Pop hair surprise. Was that, is, is that what it was called? It was something pop hair. It's hard for me to pick a favorite, but I think my two favorites has to be Chikorita and Todd Sim Sim. The reason why I like Chikorita so much is because I like the fact that it's from 2008. You know, it's like, Wow, it's like 11 years old. That's crazy. <laughs> if you guys have a favorite from the ones I opened today, let me know in the comment section below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, 